grandma. I can see my age mates going to school. Why am I not going to school? You are right. You should be going to school as well but you see, I'm so old, I can't afford to send you to school. I'm sorry I'm failing you in this. Don't worry grandma. You are trying your best, at your age, even providing food is a real hustle. But where are my parents anyway? I've never seen them visit, or hear you talk about them. Oh Jack, the situation is complicated. I don't know if this is the right time for me to tell you this. But since you asked, I'll tell you anyway, so you can kill the curiosity in you, before it kills you. You deserve to know where your parents are anyway. Thanks for understanding me grandma. I've always wanted to ask you this question, but I thought I should keep quiet, and wait for them to show up, but unfortunately, that hasn't happened till date. I'm sorry to say this, but your father is already dead, but as for my daughter, who is your mom, she is still alive. Oh no, what happened to dad? Your dad was involved in an accident, and died on the spot. You were only four months old by then. That's unfortunate. What about mom, where is she? I know this will sound strange, but even I do not know where my daughter is ever since she brought you under my care. You were around six months old, when she brought you to me. But I thank God she brought you here, that's the best decision she has ever made in her life, I guess. And why do you say that? I say that, because I know my daughter very well. She is very ambitious but never hardworking. This alone has done her more harm than good. But before I talk to you about your mother, I want you to assure me you won't be resentful towards her, when she finally decides to show up one day, because that's just her nature. Okay. As long as you say so. Alright, so, this is it. As I said, your dad died when you were only four months old. The two were not married yet. They were engaged and their wedding plans were underway, when the unfortunate incident occurred. So the wedding never happened. Your dad was a very ambitious person as well, but the opposite of your mom. With him, he was very hardworking. You and your mom lived the best lives when he was alive. After his burial, your mother fell in love with another man, I wouldn't call this love, because I know she just threw herself at the man, since she couldn't maintain the kind of life, your dad groomed you into. Really? Yes, so her new lover proposed to marry her. At this point, he didn't know your mom had a child, so your mom was desperate to get you out of the picture, so she can save her new relationship, and that's how you ended up here. What? So my mom literally abandoned me? Something like that. Has she visited ever since she brought me here? Not at all, it's been 15 years and I've never seen her, or hear from her. 6 months old to 15 years. Thanks grandma, you have really offered me your best. From now on I don't want to burden you anymore, I want to take care of you. As it should be. But how do you intend to do that? You are still so young. Our situation is going to change I promise you. I am going to look for a job. Jack went around looking for a job. Most people he met did not take him serious, as he was too young to be a laborer. After a long day's search, he was lucky to meet a very rich couple. They became curious and asked him why he was looking for a job, instead of going to school. Jack explained his situation. They gave him a job as a cleaner in their home, though the pay was not that much, he managed to make his grandma comfortable. After a few months of working for the couple, who were childless, they decided to adopt him. Because of his discipline and hard work. They took him to school, and he took the opportunity he never had seriously. Jack worked so hard at school, and became a lawyer by profession. Grandma, you see, I promise not to let you down, I will always live to honor my promise to you. I am a professional lawyer now. Thanks to my adoptive parents. Well done my boy. I always knew you were a smart boy, but my age couldn't allow me to work hard enough, to be able to take you through school. I'm glad you didn't let your adoptive parents down. I know they are very proud of you as well. Yes they are. As a smart boy he is. Jack got employed immediately after his graduation. On top of that, his adoptive parents who were foreigners, left him their businesses and properties, as they jet back to their home country. The poor Jack suddenly became so rich. As gratitude to her grandma, she built her a mansion and decorated her compound. Few years later. 
Hello. Hello, I'm Melody. I was referred to you by a friend, she said you are the best lawyer in town. Are you in a position to handle a case for me? What's the case all about? It's a divorce and child custody case. All right, I can comfortably handle that. We need to meet physically, so we can discuss more about it. Come over to my home if you don't mind, so we can discuss more freely without destruction. Okay, as you wish, I have no problem. Well, I'll send you my address. Jack sent Melody his address and they met. They discussed everything they needed to, for the case. The court session started, and Jack represented Melody so well, that she was confident the judge would rule on her favor. One day Jack invited Melody over, so they can discuss the court issues as usual, this time Grandma was there too. Come in. Melody? You finally showed up after all these years? Grandma, how do you know Melody? Jack, this is your mom. So you already met her? Yes, she's my client, I'm representing her in court, for divorce and child custody case. Oh, as expected. What's happening here? Mom, what are you doing here? Meet your son Jack, the son you abandoned 35 years ago. Is this a joke? Do you see me laughing? Anyway I'm happy about this, my case will now go smoothly. Yes it will. Let's meet in court tomorrow. Okay. This court is now in session. Respondent is your counsel here? Yes he is. Counsel, the floor is yours. Thank you honorable judge, I would like to admit that my client is incapable of taking care of a child and therefore should not be granted the custody of her children. I will use my case as evidence. This woman calls himself my mother, yet she abandoned me with my grandmother 35 years ago. I rest my case. From the evidence submitted, this court proves Melody not worthy of child custody, or any share of properties that belong to her husband. Court adjourned. Why did you do that to me? I thought you would support your mother. My mother? You are not worthy of that title. I did what I did to protect the kids. After what I went through because of your poor decision, I couldn't risk the lives of my step-siblings. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.